Alice Amy Steele was born in Pennsylvania on May 3rd, 1960. She's a private woman for the most part, but I know she studied in the dramatic arts at Westchester Penn in 1973 and soon left to pursue an academic career in Kent, in Connecticut, and majored in communications and broadcasting, where she was discovered by the elite modeling agency and moved to New York in 1979 and soon did many TV commercials that led to roles on soap operas like All My Children and Guiding Light. She did cameos on TV series like Family Ties, Quantum Leap, The A-Team, Home Improvement, and China Beach, as well as several made-for-television movies. In 1981, she got the role that she would be forever known for by horror fans when she played Jenny Fields in Friday 13th Part 2, and has become one of the most endearing final girls in not only Friday the 13th, but in the slasher and horror universe in general. She was slated to reprise her role as Jenny in 1982's Friday 13th Part 3 but her agent advised her to break away from the horror genre and strike out to the larger Hollywood acting market while she was hot. A decision that Amy still regrets to this day. She starred alongside Peter Barton of Friday 13th Part 4 and Hell Night in television's The Powers of Matthew Starr and returned to the horror genre in 1986's April Fool's Day. She was in Walk Like a Man with Howie Mandel in 1987 and did many other television roles throughout the 80s. She married Peter Pulitzer in 1986, to whom she is still married and has two children. Amy also completed her education and is a successful marriage and family therapist. She has always embraced her horror and final girl celebrity and does many conventions to this day. Thanks everybody. This new series is called The Final Girl Spotlight. And I'm starting with the one that's been my favorite final girl since I was eight years old. Those of you who know my channel, she is a talented actress as well as a very sweet and intelligent person.